So on this week's discussions on new great stuff, I have a very shiny forehead apparently, I can't tell. I am sick and my voice is really itchy, so yeah, I'm trying to finish this as fast as possible. After the first edit of my first weekly dongs, I've decided to keep the videos between 5 to 10 minutes, so I'm trying to talk as fast as I can, while being eloquent and understandable. I'm no Wendy, so I know I'm boring you guys. Uh... So anyways, I finally finished Sense8. Uh, my friend Kylie actually finished it in two days, which is kind of crazy because it's like six hours a day to watch, and I don't know how she does it. She's crazy. But yeah, after watching the latter episodes, I realized that I think I like it because it's very close to X-Men, kind of. And what I've taken away from that is that Faye Duna is like an awesome character, and like Sun Park's brother is like crazy. Yeah, you have to like watch to know what I'm talking about. I don't want to spoil it, so watch it. I must say though, the show is really gory, and there would be times where I'm like, <laughs> or I would be like, eh, time to check my Instagram while this scene plays. But yeah, now I feel like so lost now and don't know what to do with my life after finishing it. And then going back to Devious Maze, Ernesto had more TV time. Mm. And then in the most recent episode, Nathan Owens made his appearance and he's like the dude from Rihanna's California King Bed video. And his backstory was revealed and I hope it doesn't end up being that he's a creep. I do love his character though. Ugh. I bet you like that white lady is gonna like try to do it with him. And I hope he's gay. And then moving on, I started Orange is the New Black but I only watched the first episode. And I must say, that episode was very enlightening, and then I feel really sad for Puse and that one girl. This is how white I should be. So moving on to comic books, I read the most recent issue of Silk, which is Silk number five, and I'm not the biggest fan of hers, but I'm still like into the series since she's an Asian American, and I really like that the first issue had me like hooked on what happened to her family. I don't know if you read it yet, but in the first issue, you'll find out that her family has been missing and she's on the search for them. So now every issue after that is like her obstacles and like clues of what happened to her because she was like locked in a bunker for like 10 years or something. And then most recently I saw that the first issue had a new variant cover and then it looks so adorable. Like I'll put it right here. You should totally buy it just for the cover itself. I love how the, the baby Avengers and stuff are drawn like that. It's, it just like creates fluffy rainbows in my heart. What I also like about her is that she's not really tied to a Asian American like stereotype where they're like highly successful and all. Cause she's like this intern and she has this like boss that calls her analog all the time. It's like an in insult to her. But then you'll see that he's actually good in a way that he's trying to help her in this most re recent issue, I'll put a screening. And hopefully it doesn't spoil it too much. And then another new issue I read was X-Men 92, issue number two, which is kind of a cool throwback because I was watching the animated series on YouTube for a while, but not like the newest, or the, um, but not like the first, but not like the first couple episodes. I was scrolling towards the end ones because I don't really remember, remember them besides like, uh, the whole apocalypse story. If you are familiar with the Shadow King, he'll make an appearance in that issue. And that character is in the animated series too. So if you look for those episodes, it's kind of like drawn from that, but not exactly. It's around between like episodes 40 or 60. I know there's like 70 episodes or something. And then lastly, I have a bunch of new underwear, even though I promised myself I wouldn't buy any. But I don't know, it was like a good sale and everything was like $13 compared to like what they regularly are, which is like $10 more. And I swear, it's because there's like no good sales from like Top Man or ASOS or like Forever 21. Yeah. My underwear this time is not really like colorful, so it's gonna be kind of boring because, yeah. Um, they're mostly like plain colors and then two like patterned ones. But I will say that Macy's is, um, business model is kind of cool, but not good in the fast shipping way. Um, because 
if you order like a lot, they might bundle into different packages. And then I got one package, which was from a store. So it uses like store inventory opposed to like a, a warehouse exclusively, which is kind of neat because yeah, you know how like brick mortar stores, they are like a dying breed and stuff. And this is one of those like compromises. Yeah. I don't know. This is like random dinner talk. But anyways, um, most of them are like Calvin Klein. So I guess I'll begin with those. I bought three of these air effects. They're like the new, the newest thing from them, which is basically short for like mesh underwear. I really wanted to try them since I get super sweaty when I'm on the cardio bike and then I have like a really soggy ass to the point that I stopped bringing like sweats to change into, especially since it's hot now, there's no point. So when I finish my cardio days and I'll just leave the gym in my compression shorts. So yeah, cause there's no point in changing into new pants because the sweat from the underwear will just transfer over and then you'll see like a little print. If you stare at my ass, I don't know. And then sometimes my t-shirt's too short and then you can kind of see my junk and then I'm like, cover up, cover up. Anyways, I think um, the white one ha has an easier way of seeing the mesh. They look like this. It's kind of cool though, cause like, usually when you think of mesh, you think of basketball jersey material and this is actually like stretchy. So it fits around your ass perfectly. These two are like the called Calvin Klein Intense Power. I only got them in black and white because I think those are the nicest looking ones. Ta-da! I should have the Air Effects in blue too, but I don't have it here because I actually wore it already because I was super curious about it. And so I wore it to the gym and yeah, made it extra soggy. This one's kind of like the intense one, but from Two Exist. But it looks like this instead. I kind of wanted it in white too, but I didn't have it in white in my size. And then this one's kind of like Hawaiian. Can you see? The last one is actually called like marble print or something. But I basically bought it because it reminded me of a zebra print. It's just like kind of pixelated looking. Does it not look like a zebra print though from like far away? I well, finally to end, about those Aussie Bum underwears, um, they're nice and cheap and nice for their price, but I don't know, there's not like enough fabric for my ass and then I get like half wedgies. But opposed to fold wedgies, I guess I don't mind. It's not like it's hard to walk when you have like fabric, half fabric eaten by your butt. But if it was like a full on wedgie, I would totally have a video against it. But, um, hopefully this video is as short as I say it is. Thanks for watching this week's thongs. If you like this video, subscribe and thumbs it up. And so I can be encouraged to make more. Also follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, and Blogger if you wanna see other things happening in my life.